I'm gonna tell you the specific features inside of TubeBuddy that can help you grow your YouTube channel, and we're starting right now. That's just how we do. What is going on? My name is Nick from TuberTools.com. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. A very common question that I get is, Nick, can TubeBuddy really help me grow my YouTube channel? Yes, it can, and I'm gonna tell you exactly the features that you need to make sure that you're focusing on when it comes to using TubeBuddy specifically to help you grow your YouTube channel. The very first one is the TubeBuddy Keyword Planner. If you're trying to rank videos, it helps to know where you can compete. And what I mean by that is, let's say that you're trying to get your video inside of YouTube search to where if somebody's looking for a specific thing, your videos are gonna pop up. The Keyword Planner is going to give you insight into what your chances are for ranking for a specific term based on the competition, based on what's happening on your channel and so on. It's pretty awesome, let me show you. If I use the Keyword Explorer for the keyword TubeBuddy, it's gonna show me my chances of ranking for that term, but it's also gonna show me the overall search volume, how strong my competition for that term is, and it's gonna show me how optimized the results are for that term. So let's say that my score here is pretty good. Another thing that I can do is I can click on the related searches on the right column to see if I can improve that score, or in other words, my chances of ranking for that specific term. So in this case, I'm gonna choose TubeBuddy Review. You can see when I click on that, that my score just raised, which means that even though the search volume may be lower, I increased my chances of getting my video to show up and search just by using one of the suggested topics. They also show you web searches and other video topics related to this phrase so you can keep exploring ideas and you can take a peek at the current search results, see historical interest and so on. So this one helps you grow by making sure that you're going for the right words or the right phrases that you have a better chance of ranking for so that you can make better decisions when you're titling and writing the descriptions and writing your tags or doing overall optimization for your video. Next is the A-B testing feature for the thumbnails. This one is awesome because it lets you compare two thumbnails against each other to see which one gets the best results. And since thumbnails and titles are the first thing that people see, it's their first point of contact with that new piece of content, it doesn't matter if they're a new viewer or if they're a returning viewer, that thumbnail and the title, that's the very first thing they see. So thumbnails are extremely important in helping you grow your channel. For example, they'll show you where people click the most. So if you're targeting YouTube's recommendation features and more people are clicking those, then you may wanna go whichever wins with that. But if you're targeting search, then go for the one that wins in search. Or you can just let TubeBuddy tell you which one has the best performance overall and go with that one. In a nutshell, this one's gonna help you grow because if people are not clicking on your thumbnails then your view counts are gonna be lower. And if your view counts are lower, then your channel growth is gonna be slower and it's gonna take you a lot longer to get to where it is that you're trying to go. But but if they are clicking on your thumbnails like crazy because you figured out which thumbnails they click on the most, then you're gonna get more views. And when you get more views, then that's gonna give you more chances to get more watch time, which is gonna help you grow authority on your channel. It's gonna help you get more subscribers because you're getting more views and so on. So if you haven't picked up what I'm trying to say here, making sure that your thumbnails are effective is extremely important. Another one is their suggested tag feature. Now with their suggested tag feature, when you are uploading your videos into YouTube and you are optimizing that video for search, basically what I mean by that is, you're writing your titles, you're writing your descriptions, you're putting your tags together, you're getting all the stuff together to make sure that you are giving YouTube the best idea of what your video is about. With the suggested tags, what's gonna happen is when you run that, it's gonna say, okay, this is the title that they're using, this is the description that they're using, so we determine that that these are the tags that they should be using in their videos, or these are the options of tags that they should be using in their videos so that they can also be connected to additional terms so that they can have a chance for ranking for those terms or being suggested next to other content that is also using those tags. And the really cool thing about it is it will show you suggestions and you'll see some of those suggestions and you're like, why didn't I think of that? Now real quick, I wanna put a disclaimer here and I wanna let you know that even if you have the perfect title and even if you have a good description and even if you have all of your tags put in there right, if your video itself does not perform, if people are not watching your video for an extended period of time, then YouTube is going to demote that video. So if they're not watching it or if people are not engaging in your content, then that can hurt your ranking. So it's really important to make sure that even if you're optimizing your video properly, that there's a bunch of pieces to the YouTube puzzle 
So you have to make sure that you're putting all of those pieces together and that you're not solely relying on just making good titles and just optimizing your tags, just optimizing your descriptions. You wanna make sure that you're doing all of the things, so to speak, to make sure that once you get in those search positions, that you can own those search positions or that you can stay there for a long time and use those as a long-term source of traffic to your channel. And the same exact thing applies to the suggested videos. You know, if you are getting connected to a, another video and you're getting a lot of traffic from that video because people are clicking on your thumbs and things like that initially, but you're not keeping people watching your content, then what's gonna happen is the people that are making videos to where when people watch their content, they're watching it for an extended period of time, those videos will end up beating out your videos. So it's really important to make sure that you're doing all of the things and not just saying, oh, well, I have good tags because it's a lot more than that. But TubeBuddy's gonna help you do that as well as a bunch of other stuff. So make sure that you go ahead and get it. At the top of the screen right now, I actually have an entire playlist of videos that are all about TubeBuddy and they explain how TubeBuddy works. They explain how you can use TubeBuddy to grow your channel, get more views and all that stuff. I really recommend that you watch those videos now or that you go ahead and install TubeBuddy through the link down in the description below right now. It's the number one tool for YouTubers for a reason, because it's awesome. And to learn more about growing your channel, making videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.